Hey, what's up? I don't know if it's going to work. I put some pressure in there. Yeah, that's good. You look like you gained some weight back, yeah? That looks good. Oh, yeah. I gained the weight back. Gained, it's mostly... <laughs> I'm too, much too, much, too much Christmas cookies. This is uh, my newest uh, training partner, Reagan. Reagan, it's Ingen. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Hello, this, guy's, Reagan. Guess, this guy's a monster. He's going to be a world champion in another year or two. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Happy to hear that. Where's the crazy showing up? But uh, I'm tired. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Stay home, crazy. <laughs> 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 you feel it going? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Yeah, your back is starting to slip. I need some uh, pro, some pro nation help. Getting in. Bring any some pro tips. Need some more. Uh, I mean, he's pretty keeping him one dimensional. Mm hmm. In, in his tips, he's, no, he's, he's just uh, in the right, right place. Perfect yeah, place. Dustin left about a half hour ago, so we got some good work with Dustin too. So. Oh, you train with him as well, huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. But, uh, it's pretty much the guys I, I train with, Reagan and Dustin. Only the two guys. Occasionally, I'll go to uh, bigger practice, but. It ends up being just a sit around party more than it is a, a workout. Yeah, yeah. This looks better than the 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 than the skinny, John. The skinny version. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I be quite honest. Like I, I was texting you earlier. I I feel I felt so much better. Um, as far as healthier and joints and everything. Yeah, I yeah. I just need more more time to you know get used to that weight i think if i you know lost the weight and stayed there for a few months it'd be definitely better, mm -hmm. better. but still definitely the healthier healthier version but, yeah crazy hey, what's going on my man yeah. hey guys yeah. i'm here but i don't know what's happening uh, do you hear me we yeah, hear you oh, okay hey guys nice to see you how's it going I'm Is good. It, how are you is it cold there this uh, Christmas? In, uh, in this room, it's cold. In this room, oh, it's yeah, cold. Yeah. Uh, and I was still uh, we got, we got some rain today, but it's still in the fifties fifties here in Phoenix. I'm heading up to Utah this afternoon though, so hopefully they got Ooh. some snow. Some snow we on. Ooh, just he, he is training now. That, that's just why he's having a really partner. Busy. So I've been getting all uh, well. It doesn't really look good on camera, but. Uh, a little bit. What can you do? <laughs> How many running. kilos you are now, John? Uh, I'm about 105. Yeah, I, I need to trim down a little bit. It's Thanksgiving, and then last week I went to Cancun for a week, and it was uh, all inclusive, all you can eat. So I'm a little, uh, little uh -huh. bloated right now. But um, I'm gonna. Well, I'll still eat a, a ton tomorrow for Christmas and that. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to trim up a little bit. But I'm about 105, 105. So. Good, good, good. We're, we're pulling that 105, right? We're not going to 100 yeah, kilos. 105, I, don't yeah. lose, I don't have to lose five kilos, do I? Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly. I mean, it's just all of a sudden just put introduce carbs to my diet, and I just never could feel satisfied within two, three weeks. I was like, <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Krasi, I mean, John, John had been training the last one hour. Just to intimidate you with his pump arms, you know. That, that, that. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do the proper proper position. You make yours look huge, Ingen. How do you, how do you do that? It's just because it is huge. 
The kind of camera angle. You, you must have one of them extra wide lenses on your on your. You need you need to know the angles, you know. <laughs> like how can you be? Yeah, how can you be the god and don't know how to do the forearm pose? Right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Devin pose, yeah, that doesn't work for me. I don't have any biceps. Do, do you remember the the guest the arm master game? Uh, I you and and uh, Coach Ray play, and then you were asking me, and I was oh, trying yeah. to guess, and you yeah. were like, "This is number one tattoo," you know, and I was like, "Oh yeah, number one." You didn't said, know you had a number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then whenever whenever you said whenever you said he just won the Europeans, and I was like, "Cross him it," you know. Yeah, so. Right. My mind is more working with the actual armor thing, probably, yeah. than, than, yeah, it was fun. So how too. have you been, Krasimir? I'm good. I'm good. My preparation is good so far, so. Yeah. I, I hope to be in good shape in January. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's sneaking up on us really quick. I've got maybe, um, going to, not, well, Christmas this week, uh, next weekend, <laughs> I probably won't train and then I'll do one last workout in las vegas on the fourth fifth so yeah no it's um yeah it's coming up quick isn't it you will you will do the training last training on fourth and fifth like which is like almost two weeks like 16 days yeah normally normally yeah. i like this yeah i'm not gonna of course devin's gonna be there there'll be some big guns there so it'll probably really be difficult not to overtrain but i'm gonna try not to over yeah yeah just, kind of just go through the I, I, I think you should only train with devin and then Tell Devon to just give you tra training, you know, instead of really trying to win, you know, just try to tell him to try to hook you, but not really, so that yeah. he will be training for against Krasimir. But 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 why to hook him? I may try to top off him. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That, that would be actually, I would be happy if you do that. <laughs> that, I can do that way, but I think it's a, uh, it's uh, more fair. It should be. You should try to top row. <laughs> yeah. 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 You you know the you know the new rules right or East versus West? No, no, no. You got new uh, rules. Well, first, first two, first two rounds, Atlas can win only with top roll. I love those. <laughs> that. That was my idea. that was my idea years ago, and Neil shot it down. I was like, first yeah. two matches, or you know, you, you alternate hook match, top roll match, and then you maybe like have an alternate match where the loser gets to pick the next match. You know, it would make it interesting for sure. Yeah, it would be like Rustem and Arsen are. Competing first round hook hook match, Rustam yeah. one zero. Yeah. Second round top roll match one one. You know, you just then it, then it becomes a little bit of a chess match too, right? Because you're like, no, oh, I would just lay down. I would just lay yeah, down. Do I lay I down? Do I not fight for this? I know that I'm at a, at a disadvantage. I'm going to get on the other side of the table. I got the a different technique. Yeah, yeah. Definitely I know that you like the gamble, so that's why you like this uh, kind of. Right. You know, arm wrestling, I mean, not the arm wrestling is not complex, but I think it deserves even more complexity. I mean, and different techniques like that definitely would be, I think, helpful for the, the spectator and the participants. John, when you say this, I want to say something that I don't know how many years ago, but <clears throat> you were the first guy to beat Michael Todd's King's move <laughs> up, up, after his long match with Jerry. And yeah, yeah. back then, and back then, I thought, hmm, John beat him with flop wrist press, but I don't think this is the way. I think that he, it's because Michael was tired. But now, after so many years later, I realized that this is the way to beat the King's move. The, the only way to beat it, right? Because it's yeah, so yeah, yeah. on the hand and wrist. And this, this is really impressive in my eyes that you are the guy that understood how to <laughs> deal with that. Bit, yeah. I, I needed help, but yeah. Well, it wasn't on purpose. It was just seemed like it was the only thing that was going to work at that point in the match. So, and and I'm not, I'm definitely not known for for doing for doing that. But yeah, anyway. but but just because you know how to beat that guy, it doesn't mean that you are always strong enough to to, to apply that. So yeah. maybe that day you may be right that you know. Michael was a little bit exhausted as well, you know, after oh, the yeah, two yeah. minutes. Yeah, he yeah. definitely had he definitely yeah. had the edge, you know, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So you didn't but tell the me that we were we were texting earlier. How did uh Ferret end up with the uh, Leighton? Um Ferret Ferret was incredible shape. I I, I like he he came my yes. event. <laughs> like I can say just this for Ferret today. <laughs> yeah, he did really did, good. Did you watch? Did you watch? I didn't get I saw I saw that he beat Silaev, Zou, and Vitali. 
No. He, he yes, he beat in a row, but in the final he lost what La uh, Well, he couldn't he couldn't sleep his hand because he was just his elbow was getting out as far as I, I realized, you know. Uh, um and then in overalls, I think also Slive did the same thing to him. In overalls, he couldn't make top four. But uh, in the his category, he was second place. But in this strap, he really beat first Slive, second Zhao. And third, Laletin all with pin, you know, no fouls. Right. And then in the final, yeah. you know, Laletin has very strong grip. He was catching from his fingers, so Ferris' elbow was getting out mm -hmm. while he's mm -hmm. trying to go to strap. In the strap, he was almost untouchable. Yeah. And now, and now um, you've told me this before, but Parrot, he's he doesn't pull. He doesn't have the strength that he used to have in a hook. He doesn't ever want to pull inside. Does he have like elbow issues or? Today I saw him only side pressure and outside. Okay. I didn't see, but I saw that. When he and Lalette in the first time they met in the strap, like first Ferry had the control with time more he pressed, then Ferry lost his wrist, and then Lalette lost, he lost like they were like this. At the end, he just pushed him like this with the dead wrist, like and then Lalette yeah. arm. But Lalette really had a war against Hermes as well, like two okay. weeks ago. Of course. It is still impressive that he pulled very good, but Ferry was incredible today. He was just like huge, you that's, know. I I wish he came to my event that day, shape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what's the next match for him for East versus West? You gonna have? I don't know. Him? I don't know. First, he needs to come. We need to sit down, talk. But he he, he looked incredible. He he was oh. arms everything. He 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 was very strong. Yeah. Nice. Yes, today he did some miracles there. Ah. Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. has their day, right? I mean, when you think when you think you're. You know, you're all washed up and you can't seem to win a match. <laughs> all of a sudden, you, you, you get in a... Yeah, today something else happened. You ever heard the name Abdullah Eldarov, John? I have heard that name. But I don't, I don't yeah, know. Abdullah Eldarov was like world champion, but like one of the top puller, pullers, okay. you know. Like he was there with Maxim Maximo and other guys. He was a very strong guy. But um, today I saw him in this event and I saw him one round. The, the champion of the AMC, he took him here and then he won with two fouls. And then somehow I thought he was in the final, but then I didn't see him again, you know. But he pulled very strong, you know. He was very strong. And he is also near very like, 50 now, years now, old, who, 45. Who is, what's this organization? It's a Russian organization? Promoter? Yeah, yeah. AMC, AMC. AMC, yeah. okay. Doesn't have any affiliation yeah. with uh, the old A1. I, I, no, these, these guys are, I think, from Chechnya. Oh, and okay. th yeah, th this was their sixth event, as far as I know. Yeah, okay. um, very, very, very good event. Yeah. yeah, and so let's see what will happen. But the Russian players lately, the super heavyweights not doing super good. Slave is losing to uh -huh. Zaur and uh -huh. Laletin, and then Zaur lost to Svetko, and today lost to Ferit, and Laletin lost against Hermes. Right. And but but still they are very good, but just need right. they, they need to win some. Yeah. Once you, you think you got everything figured out and then something like that happens and it's like, oh shit, no. They aren't they aren't the yeah. best. Cool. Yeah, it was interesting. And uh, Hermes was very good as well last yeah, last time. Uh, yeah. yeah, his match yeah. with uh Vitaly was like yeah, fighter, like back and forth. Yeah, that was a gut check yeah. for both of them. Yeah, no, it's nice to see. You don't see those kind of matches very often, but it's exciting mm -hmm. when it unfolds like that. Let's see, let's see, let's see how it will be. Let's see how it will be, and um, soon, soon there will be another event with eight world titles. Eight world titles. I don't know how we will do it. Uh, you know that this is now best of seven. Okay. You know, yeah, 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 and the four rounds you need to win, and um, but our our match will be best of seven as well. No, no, best of five because this best is not title match. Best of three, okay. best of two. If I if I have my way. <laughs> <laughs> no. So yeah. who are, who are you training with now, Krasimir? Uh, juniors, mostly juniors, and and Dimitrina Petrova. Oh yeah, yeah. Is she gonna pull sixty kilo this year? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think but she just came and won Europeans but, and worlds, you know. But right now, when she's pulling me with two hands, we yeah. are 
You're joking me. <laughs> what are you talking no? about? I'm, I'm, oh, it's, it's, I'm it's good news, John. John, you're going to destroy this guy. She can't even, <laughs> she can't even beat the girl I, pulling like I this. Get to, I get to use two hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell you something that when I won Zloty 2019, and yeah. after that, when I beat Kurdecha, I was preparing yeah. with Kerr as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I kind of feel like you are being nice a little bit, not to hurt her. You're, uh, but no, actually, we're pressure. really 50-50 right now. If if I'm a little bit too aggressive at the start, I beat yeah. her. If if she takes the start a little bit, she beats me. I mean, how is it possible that my, my student used to... He walks around 75, you know, world champion guy. He cannot beat me with two hands like this. How how, how you cannot beat Dimitro? But, but you're top holding him, and I'm going... For, for the hook. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Because you press him with the downside of your hand. Yes, yes. I don't attack her hand. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a uh, trick. When somebody's pulling with two hands, if you're pulling this way, then you drive down on them. If they're, if they're no, 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 no. lifting up, no. then you go backwards. <laughs> no, no. She she catch like this. Oh, yes. And I attack exactly where she is holding. Holding, okay. So you, you, know, you know where to attack John. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, so when was the last time you guys met? Two thousand thirteen. I think, I think it was a tournament, right? I, yeah, I can't remember pulling you after we had that super match in Istanbul. I, actually, we... actually, you beat me at A one, but I was just too exhausted after to Oh, uh, I don't even remember that. I, I, I don't remember the A one. I, I think I was at A one twice. I just I didn't pull you back then. I was too exhausted. I had two matches with Anatolis Kudayev and after that with Tukarev, and I uh, didn't pull you. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we, we but we at uh, we met there. Oh, we did. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, was it was it the year that John beat uh, Hajumrat Zolev and he was in the final? Or mm, no, no, it was it was when he pulled Dave Chiffy. Oh, okay. Yeah, but when he pulled Dave Sheffy, that's the one that you know yet final with uh, Pushkar. No, no, Zola. Uh, no, that's not correct. The, yes, the, yes. the match that you, you, I pulled Zola, and then Dave pulled, or no, uh, Andre Pushkar pulled Saplinkov. Because I remember pulling, or I pulled Andre because I remember him smashing me that day. And I never yeah in, in the final in the final because yeah. Dennis and Dave killed each other. Oh, that, that was wrong one. match. Yeah, no, that was the day that I beat JP. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I I'm trying to think what the other A one was then. The first yeah. A one. Michael Workspace says Merry Christmas, Legend Ingin Krasimir and the God John. Um. Oh. <laughs> so, John. You gonna beat this guy? I'm gonna do my best, Ingen. I'm, you know, I, I, you know, I've got my good days and bad days. I, I, I struggle uh, during some workouts where I just shake my head and thinking, what the hell am I continuing to do this? Um, mm -hmm. And then other days I feel like eh, I can still push through it. I can do it. So um, I've done everything I can do. I've, I've been training hard. I'm, you know, I'm trying not to cross the line. I've had some mm -hmm. arthritis. Is 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 problematic but um yeah i'm bringing my best my best so we'll see and, and you crossy i feel pretty good right now i just hope that i when i go <coughs> there i'm i feel healthy enough and to right now if i consider the weight that i lift i'm in very good shape i hope that i bring this to yeah. Istanbul. Yeah, that's, that's 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 a difficult thing. Is the timing, you know? Well, especially for as you get a little older, you don't want to. You want to train. You want to train hard, but then it's so easy to overtrain and then be a little, a little bit sore, and it can, it can definitely mess you up in a hurry. But mm. yeah, that, you know, the preparation is is actually more about you know how well you you heal weeks before the the match than it is how the training goes. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it will be. Looks like looks like it's gonna be a tough match. I don't expect it to be easy. Uh, Krasi, how do you like? 
do you remember that I, I like nothing to take away from you? You won't deserve him against John in you know, that super match that you beat him uh, five zero. Uh, but do you remember that a week before that he was in Slovakia for Senakan against Golemanov? Yes, yes. Yeah, you you remember right? That that that. So do you? I'm I'm sure that you are coming there to win. You know, I mean, no need to be nice. I, I'm sure that John is also coming. Uh, 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 to win, but uh, but do you expect this to be tougher than last time? I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and I know this that he put in Slovakia back then. But I can say one thing from my side: the last two months back then, when I was preparing for him, mm -hmm. I was not preparing my wrist and fingers. I thought that he's going to hook me back then. I was preparing <laughs> my hook. Because, ah, okay. because at Zloty, when we put, I hooked him out of the straps. And to hook somebody out of the straps is way more difficult than in the straps. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and back then I was thinking, he knows that I hook him out of the straps. And most likely I will hook him in the straps too. And mm -hmm. he, would, he would prepare his hook. And that's why I was preparing hook for hook. Yeah, this, but but this, if, if you remember, he, was, still, he, he he still was getting back from the 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 the, the shoulder uh, thing, you know. At that time, I, 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 I don't I don't only, think that he had he had the hook to you know the the press, so he had to get out, you know. I think. Yeah, but I was thinking that he is going to hook me, and I was yeah. preparing pre preparing mostly my hook. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if yeah. you are John Berzing, I mean, you have outside ability. I think the year before when you beat him, he still wasn't... I, when did you beat him? Actually, it was just three, four months before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, 2012 Zloty. Like, like, you pull him in March, March... Yes, it was four months. Yeah, four, four months. Yeah, four months, five months. months. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I understand. But I, I think that he probably was a little bit better than, than the Zloty shape because he was still coming back from his uh, surgery... And do you expect him to go inside this time? Uh, not actually. <laughs> this <laughs> no. time I'm I'm expecting him to go for. It's pretty. It's pretty well known. I got about this much chance inside. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I'm sure that he doesn't expect me to go for the top row as well. <laughs> uh, no. No. Well, yeah, that's the question. Is it going to be more difficult to top roll you if you're top rolling or when you're trying to hook? I mean, so that's that's something you have to decide. But yeah, no, I, I, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be attempting any hooks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So, wh how close are you to uh, Sasha? I mean, Bulgaria is a big country, but you guys are probably uh, a the thing is that we put about ten days ago. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Yes, and it's strange that he doesn't hook me. Actually, he's he's top rolling against oh. me. Oh, and wow. he doesn't go for traditional top row. He's doing something like this open arm top row. Kings move type of thing, yeah. But you like and that. The, you uh, like huh? it. You like to squeeze the people there, you know, whenever and they the, go with. The, the truth is that he was taking my wrist. He was taking? But I was, yes, but I was beating him with dead wrist. Oh, wow. uh, when they are that open, then you just don't care about that and you just, yeah. This is what was happening. He was taking my wrist and, and I was holding here. He was... Please don't pull a, a Rockley on me. Don't be beating <laughs> me with a dead wrist. <laughs> it, no, it is different. Irak, Irakli was going back pressure, back pressure, back pressure, losing. He still had Pronader while Krasimir still protects his Pronader, but still a little bit forward move, forward. Not, not so much. Like, it, you don't start to pull back this way unless you were pulling same against uh, the the in your last uh, super match against Lachlan mm. actually Lachlan was way stronger than I expected yeah mm -hmm. he looks impressive against certain people and then not so much against others he, he seems to have his a, his side pressure. his side pressure is not that great but his biceps and pronation Bites. were really solid Really strong. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were in, together, right, in Dubai? I, yeah. I, I yeah. didn't. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. You, you were in the same event, yeah. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't get a chance to pull on, of course, but yeah. 
No, no, I mean, like, you, when you pull Alexi Voivoda, he was pulling back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we said this match even before before that event. He said, give me the winner of Lachlan Krasimir match. Right. Yes, actually, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. I, I like it. So, so Sasha doesn't go inside. Is there, is there any... Like, does actually, there with, with his chest... It, actually, it, a, a week before that, we pulled again. And it was happening the same thing. He was top rolling me. And once he, he was inside with me, I beat him inside. It was tough, tough match. Oh, actually, we're we're very close. Very close. We're very close. Yeah, but you have always been close. Like last many years, yes, in the yes, company, yes. You had I remember yes. matches like minute long, you know, almost. Yeah. Yes. You remember? You told me. You told me that like there is no hook match more than like longer than one minute because you said that before one minute somebody's wrist is going back. Um, any of your matches with Sasha, those long matches, were they around one minute? About one minute, yeah. About one, one minute. minute. But you don't see any two minute long match in Hook, right? Because no. you, said, you said the risk is good. He, this is what he said. I tried and I couldn't find. I think he was right about it, John. This, I didn't see any like two minute long long Hook match, you know. Like actually, even if they are both deep hook puller, once the risk is just giving up after a point, you know, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens. I, I was thinking about this the first years of my career and I realized that when you're in hook with somebody and you hold, 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 and after one minute, your arms start, your hands start to open automatically. Right. This right. is what happens. Yeah. Even, even well, when you're being attacked. And it, how and how long was your, your match with, with like, Ferit? Probably wasn't one, one minute, huh? Oh, you're talking my match with Ferit? Yeah, in yeah, Vegas? Vega. In Vegas? In the hook. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it didn't last a minute. Yeah, it, it yeah. seemed like a minute. It seemed like an eternity, but it was probably 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you know. That's, oh, that's okay. a game for me. Yeah. Yeah. There, there is a super chat, Furious. John, I don't know if you saw, Travis was saying he could beat Hermes with ease on the left hand. Uh, what is okay. your thoughts about it? Also, are we going to see you face any supers in the future or staying in 105. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't think I'm very competitive. Um, maybe with the B class super heavyweight pullers, I could uh, occasionally pull if they they want to pull me. But um, the A class guys, you know, the top twelve guys, top twenty guys, probably in the super heavyweight class, I, I need to. I have no I have no business pulling pulling with them anymore. I mean, some of them you can pull, like you pull Corey, yeah, I mean, but but, but it, could, it hurts you. You know, you don't need to put that pressure on yeah. you. I could show up and maybe make a little bit of a fight, but I, I'm not going in with any kind of confidence like I'm going to be able to, you know, do anything. So, no, I want to stay uh, either 105 or um, if I'm really motivated, get back down to 95 again and try to, you know, maintain that for a few months where I can get used to it. Um, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I need to I need to sort this uh, arthritis out. I need, need bigger, better drugs to... <laughs> keep this shit calm down because it's getting to the point where it's it's just really frustrating me. I, I, I'm, I won I'm wondering what Hutchins is doing about his arthritis because he's yeah. doing miracles. Yeah, so he didn't he didn't start pulling until he was in his 40s. So I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. My mom had a really bad arthritis, so I kind of blame it a little bit on genetics. I don't I don't completely blame it on arm wrestling because. At this point, I'm feeling it in my hips and in my back and in my left shoulder. So, I mean, it's throughout my whole body. But, um, yeah, Todd, Todd's just yeah. still doing 20-year-old shit. I mean, I, 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 it's crazy. I mean, yeah, but, people, people but, compare the age, you know. They say, okay, John is 59, Todd is 57. But the, the mileage, yeah, you yeah. have been pulling for 40 years. He has been pulling for 20 even, years. I don't even know if it's a mileage. I just think it could, could possibly be just genetics. I mean, I know some people, some friends from high school that never arm wrestled in their lives, and they're they can't they can't put their jackets on. I mean, their shoulders are so. Yeah, so yeah. I I feel like well, okay, well I'm at least better than that. <laughs> but but anyway, yeah. yeah. So that's that's my answer. One hundred five for sure. Krasimir, just think about, just imagine the the pressure that John had been handling. During his career, just think about Richard Lapkus, Gary Goodrich, Cliff Dean, 
like Pushkar, Alan Karev, and Travis, and Devon, and Dennis Sipenko. Do you, I mean, you also pull a lot, but he, he, you know that he has always been like overall yeah, category there's only, puller. There's only a few occasions where I could remember going, oh, I heard something or I, I felt something pull. So I've, most of those big matches even were pretty pretty controlled i mean i was you were not hurt but just you know, remember that you had that yeah. pressure it's just like overuse you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. like you had so much pressure there it doesn't mean that training, you need right? to get injured yeah, yeah. but, but the, I didn't, the I... difference the difference between me and john is that when he was pulling these super heavy weights he was most of the times or always top, top, top rolling yes the top yeah. Roll, yeah. While, while i'm pulling like this most of the You're time <laughs> You're in the yeah, you're but, in but, the but, uh, uh, but he probably had tougher matches. Like you also beat some of those super heavyweights. But whenever usually when he was pulling against Dennis, there was a match. But whenever you were meeting Dennis, usually it, it was taking like two seconds. You know. Yeah, that that's uh, true. That's I, true. I think. I yeah. think it, there, yeah. there Do you remember his match with Alan Karev, ninety-eight? Yes. It was like long match like this. I mean. Like if you have it, like pulling Alan Karev is one thing. Pulling Alan Karev like thirty four seconds, he is putting two hundred kilo frame on you like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we put him on a scale. He, he was hundred. He was showing hundred eighty kilo. And I would have. I show I error, you know, when he was you know, bring, bringing him up. I, I would have loved to pull him fresh. What made him so tough was my pre match with Arakli. I I had a I had a freaking war with that Arakli from Georgia. And, Erekle, uh, Erekle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Erekle, and it was like five minutes later they they called me up for uh for that the uh Allen match. But yeah, no, I was in the bathroom running cold water on my heart, like, come on, baby, wake up. But uh yeah. Whatever happened to him? He's uh is he still alive or is he wrestling or what is he doing? I, I don't know. I don't know. No, he would be formidable if he decided to come back in the arm wrestling world, right? I mean, he was huge. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing right now. Hey, hey, what do you think about the other question? Travis and Hermes. I, I, I was a guest for Travis's show, and Hermes was there. I, in fact, I wasn't guest, but I, they sent me the link. I, I, I joined, and then they started to talk, and then Travis and Hermes, they both said they would pull left arm. I don't... I, I really have to think about it long and hard, because I don't know... Travis's strengths are the same as Ermi's, so. If, Travis, if tra I talk about left arm, huh? Left arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, left arm. Yeah, Ermi's would be yeah. him right arm, but left arm. Travis got a lot of back pressure, and he's a master in the straps, yeah. and and he's he hits hard. But if he come, even if he comes ninety percent, I kind of think he has a good chance to beat. Ermi's will be surprised. Ermi's will be surprised if nothing else. Yeah, it's not. It's not a. You know, it's not going to be an easy match for either one of them by any means, but I think that definitely Travis is uh, is competitive against Hermes left-handed if he comes in decent shape. Yeah, yeah. Krasimir, did you know that Arsene is training? Really, he didn't no. stop. Him. See, he, he was my guest here, so it was my plan to bring him here, and then so he would have the spirit, you understand, whenever he's here as a guest, and now he has been training non-stop. And April... He will probably pull, compete, but of course not not the level that you are in John right now. But because he's like eleven years, he didn't pull, and but eventually, you know what's gonna happen, right? Yeah. <laughs> eventually, he's gonna pull you and pull John. You know, he will look for revenge, and John John will look for revenge match, against. I need that match to be sooner than later, Ingen. <laughs> yeah, but just let him train every month, you know, because eleven years is a long time, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Now he looked that's good. A, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, he looked good in Istanbul. I, I mean, you know, definitely a little, little yeah. soft, but I mean, he didn't look like too badly out of shape. And I'm sure yeah. he still the tendons are still there. You never lose that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it that everyone is coming back. Even, 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 um, even uh. uh Alexi Voivoda, Denis Siplenko, Arsene Liliev, you know, all of them are coming back. It's very good, you know, very good. Yeah. Um, Whatever happened to um, the other big guy that was uh, Trubin? Does he still pull or? I have no idea. I didn't hear anything about him lately. 
Where does he live? Is he living in Russia? Or? I think he lives in Russia. But Is he in Russia? he lives in Russia, as far as I know, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think that he has four, four kids, so... Uh, oh. Different priorities. Uh, John, did yeah. you know that uh, Krasimir... You became father, right, Krasimir? Yes. Really? yes. Oh, very yeah. nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, around the same time, also Bojidar became father, right? A little bit earlier yes. than you. Yes, yeah. a, a, few, a few weeks before me. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, you, yeah. you were expecting uh, like a week or two after Dubai, right? Yes. Like weekend, Actually, yeah. it happened a month after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Very nice. A little boy or? A girl. girl. A girl. Okay. Yeah. Pretty a girl. Today she turns two months today. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's nice. So, looks like you both will be very respectful to each other. John will say that, you know, oh, he, will, he will do his, his I'm best. Talk, and then I'm going to talk all business. kinds of trash. I'm going to show up with muscles flexing and, uh, yeah, maybe not. And, 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 and Krasimi, you are like, you are type of person that, like, you are one of the few people that never hold back what you think. You know, not really politic talking, you understand? You are just straightforward. What is your chance about beating John? Of course I'm going there to win. Yeah, but what is all objective to 60%? Like you have like... No, I don't want to say such a thing. You don't want <laughs> you you like these odd things. You're very you're very analytical, like spot on. Oh, is it 59 and a half? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is it? <laughs> like, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to steer the pot, you know. Come on. Uh, I'm an organizer. I, uh, I should uh, say this that uh, anything is possible because when I was going to pull Marcio a few years ago, I was a hundred percent sure that I would beat Marcio. A hundred percent. There was nothing in me that was wondering what would happen. I was totally sure that I would beat him. And at the end, he beat me. So I realized that nothing is sure in this life. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's so true. I've, I've, okay. Many occasions yeah. when I've been super confident and then got my ass kicked and other times where I feel like I got no chance and end up coming out of the winner. Like, how did the hell mm -hmm. did that happen? <laughs> So, guys, what 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 is this crazy guy doing here? Oh yeah, no, he's gonna hurt himself. He shouldn't be doing this. Someone should be watching him. He needs a baby. Tozilla doesn't get hurt. Tozilla <laughs> is almost like Chuck Norris. He, he, yeah, like, he, I am he sure that about that way. So, yeah, he was so indestructible, and he's had a couple surgeries now since he, he was mopping off. So I, it, it's still a possibility. He should be careful. He's getting older. I mean, no, I don't know. Reason. According to the rumors, that the weight that he threw got hurt. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do you, so, uh, how do you feel about that with David? David, uh, David's form. I mean, from what I saw him do to Arakle, uh, I think Todd might be pulling in an awkward position for a little bit, but. It'll be a that's a, that's an exciting match. You like to bet? Where is your money going? I I won't bet against Todd. I I know how he's got he's gotten crazy 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 strong. Um, yeah, uh, he beats David. I I definitely want to see him lose the weight and pull Sasho. I think that'll be from what I felt from Sasho. Um, yeah, that's a that's yeah. A I, 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 why why didn't you put Sasha versus Todd Hutchins actually? No, Everybody I mean, wants to see this match. Todd, 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 Todd said that he was gonna go down to 95 kilo. Right after the match, he said he's gonna stay, which wasn't planned. This is not what he told me. He said he's gonna stay in 105 kilo until Ongar Wave gets the rematch. This is what he said, you know. I had no idea. And I said, okay. Oh, and and then until uh, yeah. No, but it so, was he, so he, in April, in April. If 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 Tatachin wins, April will be hundred percent on Garbe versus Tat revenge match. Oh, and wow. okay. yeah, sense. so if 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 Tat beats Dadikian and then the Apple match will be his third title match. So if he wins, he's getting the belt permanently. Okay. But yeah. I ask Ongarbe, what is your plan? April, do you wanna pull? He said yes. Who do you wanna pull? 
Hutchings, he said. <laughs> and I, I, I said, I said, what if Hutchings loses to Daddy Can? He said, like, okay, let me think about it. Because he is in between running after the belt or getting revenge from right. Hutchings. So he, he cannot decide, you know, where, where to go. You know, right. if, if, now if David yeah. wins, if Datacon wins, he should he should focus on a match with Datacon, and then Todd can maybe come back in the picture of to regain it based on how that outcome is. But I think he doesn't he was, want him to he doesn't want him to go down to ninety five and stay there forever, no, and he but, will just but, stay. With to answer your question, uh, Krazy, I mean, he, he was so deserving, and and he was heavy after our match. Um, he, everybody wanted to see him go against Critigali. So, I mean, it's just, just natural to have that match, right? I mean, it, it, it had to happen. In my eyes, it was mis mismatch before the match. I was 100% sure that Todd will win. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, okay. Against who? Against who? Against Tonger Yeah. Oh, yeah. But listen, some people just, I don't know. I hope you are not one of them because my, my opinion about you being knowledgeable of your yeah. truth. The, <laughs> the, the, but, the match... The match was way harder than I expected. Okay, okay, that's good. Because people says Todd dominated on Garvey. Like, I don't know, probably their definition of domination and my definition of domination is different because it was a war, you know. Yeah, yeah, like Todd was sh shaking yeah, here, you know. And energy. a few times on Garvey was able to bring him here, but he couldn't stay there because of Todd's incredible side pressure. But that was a war, you know, yeah. Yeah, agree. But uh, it was the third round. The first two rounds, thought was still, still. But he was just like a war here, you know. He was able to lock it. He was holding him like no problem. He was holding. You know where he lost? Yeah. Whenever he attacked, and then he lost his wrist. If he would stay here, trust me, he would hold him there 30, 40 seconds more. Once he is like, okay, I'm holding. Let me go. Once he go, and then when he face. I kind of disagree. I've, I've been in that position with Todd before, and that you feel like I got. Great position. I'm just gonna hold out, and pretty soon it's like, uh. <laughs> yeah. But just if you if, if, if you watch it, if you watch it, he had like more like he even bring his shoulder. Yeah, he was he good. was able to hit him, you know, like hit him and bring him to the center. But he was losing his wrist. You know, I, do you guys agree that I, my opinion? Anyone who cannot control Todd's pronator in that weight category cannot be Todd. Like you need to really control the guy's pronator. If he has the pronator. You think that you are taking his wrist and you are winning and you're missing the pronator and he right. has that, he will hit you. You cannot, nobody can Agreed. do a side Agreed. pressure, you know, Agreed. match. With him, you, know? You, almost, you almost have to attack him like you're going to hook him. You need to cup him. You need to turn his palm up. Right. If you That's let how, 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 how Prunik beat him. That's how yeah, Prunik yeah. beat him. Prunik yeah. had a full hand wrist control. It's, and then... it's, it's, it's hard to be confident doing that when there's, he's so compact and he's, He's on fire to hit hard outside like that. It's just, it's not something that you feel naturally like you're going to be able to do. Do, but actually, I didn't expect Prudnik to beat him that easy. Yeah, yeah, me neither. In, in the hook, actually, they were very close because the second match, Prudnik went in hook and Todd stopped him here. But after that, Prudnik was very dominant by the with the top row. Yeah, let's let's see how it will be. Okay, let's start with some of the predictions uh, from the East versus West Eleven. Fourteen matches, eight title matches, eight title world title matches. Again, I think that this event will finish two three a.m. No, 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 no. It will be. I mean, just be just ima ima imagine that John is gonna do three o against you each match <laughs> one second. So it will finish in. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Believe me, this event will be very late. We will see. That's good. If Mark my words. Wars. If they're all wars, that's that's cool. How, how long? How long is your match gonna take with John? Since you know how long it the event will take. Just start from your own. Start from your own. Let me take you to the trap. <laughs> yeah, I cannot say this. Oh, so you don't know how long your match is gonna be, but you know that how long the event is gonna be. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, let's start. Let's start with, you know, you know this athlete. You pull against him. I'm Eric. I'm Eric. You know him, right, John from France. I'm Eric. Uh -huh. 
It, he's pulling against Rabi Tapi. Rabi Tapi is going down to 105. I think actually he's already around there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a big step yeah. for Robbie. Yeah. And Rabi pulling left arm with Imeric from um, France. Any any opinion? Prediction? Actually, actually his name in French is Emeric. Yeah. Yeah. Emeric. Emeric, okay, yeah. Yeah. I know that I know yeah, he's not he doesn't look like much, but I know he's super strong. I, and I haven't pulled Robbie that much. And, and my experience with Robbie was probably 15 years ago, so it doesn't really apply. So I have really actually no idea how, how that it would go, but no clue. No clue. And you, Krasimir? I don't know this guy, Robby Topi. I don't know him. Okay. Yeah. So then let's go to the next one. Marcio Barbosa, Oleg Petrenko. For me, it's very close. I, I cannot say. I really expect this match. Uh, I expect Marcio to try everything, to try top row, to try hook. This is what I expect. I don't. Yeah, I don't see Marcio beating uh, Petrenko inside, and Petrenko has got very good hand control. I, I I'll be surprised if if Marcio get outside and, and pull off a top roll. I I, I see Oleg. Yeah, I, I think if he controls a match, he's got better better arm strength, side pressure than Marcio. But Marcio does have, you know, the back pressure. And if he can get outside a little bit, but ugh. oh, like Mar Mar Marcio is very tricky. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't ever want to. Uh, you know, uh, this will be a tough match. I'll be try to be politically correct, and I don't want to go against any of the, the Western pullers. But this will be a tough match for Marcio. If Marcio pulls it off. Good job, Marcio. Oleg's a, a formidable powerhouse. And Krasi? Uh, I really don't know who would win. Very close, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're pulling at 105 also, right? All right is there a weight class, Ingen? 105. 105, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go to this one. I'm not sure if if, if John would know. Wala Ichkiti versus uh, Aydar Khan. But I'm sure Krasimir knows the athletes. Yes. Uh, Very good to outside pullers. But um, what I heard from Bojidar is that Aydar Khan was injured at the Worlds. No, and Aydar Khan won the Worlds. No, Aydar Khan won the Worlds. You're talking about Saudi yeah. Arabia. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yes, in Saudi. Um, Saudi I will tell you. I will tell you the story when we are face to face or privately. Ah, but yeah. he's not injured. Ah, okay. Because I yeah. saw that he he won convincingly with left and yeah. with right. I don't know what happened. Right, with right. right. He, he just lost like this, right? Yeah. And, yeah, and but, that's but why I, I I will tell you that his right is much stronger than left. Ah, that's okay, all, okay. all you need to know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In this case. Either Khan is the favorite in my eyes. Is it because of the speed or power? He's just a very technical arm wrestler. Uh, the other guy is super strong, mm -hmm. but uh, I just think that uh, Either Khan is just the better arm wrestler for the moment. Okay, I understand. So let's go to the next one. Artem Taino versus Zulab Tauber is the left arm. In my eyes, Tainov is huge favorite. Wow! From what I Do you know what what is interesting? Um, I think I think Prudnik and Alijan. I think they were my my guess, and I think they both said that Zurab is gonna win. I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And 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 you are saying the huge favorites, like in my, in my eyes, yes. yeah. But you mean like domination? You are expecting? I think that he will top roll him and will beat him convincingly. Mm. Do you remember the match that Efe top roll Zura, but Zura beat him like this or not? Yeah, but Artyom is very strong everywhere. And, and also he has the finishing for and shoulder. To top roll Sasho, it was very surprisingly for me. The first two rounds, he was able to top roll Sasho. So... But didn't, didn't Sasho also go outside? Yes, but still. still. No, I mean, whenever somebody is going outside like Sasho to top roll him and when he is going deep in Top roll on him is just a little bit different, I think. Yeah, but yeah. in the second round, Sasha yeah. went for the hook 
and Artyom was here and his pronation and back pressure were solid iron. So he couldn't move, huh? Didn't move. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And you have any idea about tight oh, versus okay. drop left arm? Yeah, all I can say is what I saw how he competed against Sasha. So I mean I, I have to agree with Krazi. I mean a seeming seemingly he would be the favorite. I, I don't mm -hmm. So they, he very easily won AMC 95 kilo right arm because there was no left arm. Yeah, I remember yeah. pulling him when he was, uh, I think it was at a, the Yalta event back 10, 15 years ago when he was just a little yeah. boy. He was yeah. a powerhouse. So, yeah, no. Yeah. So he's come a long way. Uh, uh, John won today with right arm? No, I think uh, I pulled, I can't remember if I pulled him no, right no. or lefty. I think it was lefty. No, no, no. I asked him again. I asked him again. So today he won in right Russia. Time, right time. Yeah, 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 yeah. He won. Yeah. Whoa! I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. And so let's go to the next one. John, do you know that all of the elite pullers of today and last ten years, fifteen years are your fans? You know that, right? <laughs> you know, right? Is that, yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> No, no, that, that's the truth, you know. Whenever you were going stage, we were looking at you like you are an alien, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they've, they've all grown up. They're all, yeah, I remember my yeah, yeah. young, young kids. Um, a crazy yeah, match. Wait, 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 wait. When you say this, again, I want to say something that I started arm, rest, arm wrestling 2005. And when I started, right. I, I had two goals in my mind. To become world champion, and to beat John Brzezin while he is still competing. I was hoping mm -hmm. to get a match mm -hmm. while he is still competing because he, back then he was, uh, how old were you, 2005? 41. Uh, yeah, 40 ish, 41, yeah. Yeah. And I was hoping, I hope one day I will meet him and beat him. <laughs> and I never thought that we would meet twice yeah, 10 yeah. years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And we might yeah. be together another 10 years. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, so when you dream that 2005 now is 18 years since then, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. John, I, first time first time I saw him, do you know where he was? Uh, you remember you beat Pushkar in Manchester Super Match after All right. Wolf? All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The, in that event, Krasimir was like 18 years old. Oh, and okay. winning the junior category, like oh, I was cool. around there, somebody screaming after every time he music goes up, whoa, like this <laughs> with a huge biceps. <laughs> it was crazy, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. There, there was an event like the day before, right? The uh, was it the WAF Worlds? That was yeah, there was WAF Worlds. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't go to that part. I just went to the uh, you know the super match afterwards. The super match, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways, a crazy match. Matt Mask versus Wagner with right arm. I think that right Wagner. Arm. I think that Wagner will press Matt with dead wrist. Yeah, I mean Matt does have. That's his. That's his weak area. Is his arm strength, the side pressure. I mean Matt should have hand control. You know, he's he's looked really good as of late. So I mean, destroyed Ron, which isn't an easy task. So. Um, I'm gonna lean towards Matt, Matt beating mm. Wagner, and yeah. and Krasi is saying, and and how about the table? Was <laughs> <laughs> gonna need to be reinforcements on the table? Yeah. <laughs> I, I I seriously I will have some extra table there, like a cowbell or something up there where we can just ring the bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> anyway, so. Next match, very good one. Irakli versus Pauline, 95 kilo. In my uh, eyes, Irakli is the favorite. Paul, Paul, believe it or not, is not easy to top roll. I I think that Irakli is going to have a hard time with Paul. And I think Paul's arm strength is better than Irakli. If it gets turned down wrist to wrist or if he's able to maintain his wrist, I see the arms going to Paul's side of the table. But you're right. It's a super, super close match. Um, I, I worry that Reckley might not have the arm strength to finish Paul, even if he gets the hand advantage. It'll be a good one. Paul keeps getting stronger. I mean, talk to Hutchins yeah. about 
all in. You know, I mean, he's he might be, you know, he might be the favorite. He's very explosive. He's start yeah. the one that is scaring me. You understand? Yeah. No, that, no. that 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 yeah. starts huh. to to do what he did to Sasha. <laughs> he's, yeah. He got a lot of arm strength. <laughs> yeah, he has. Yeah, that 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 the wrist copying and the dragon is very very strong. Yeah. 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 I I think I think he versus Krasimir would be also a good match. Yeah. Yeah. Um. It depends what the weight is. If it's ninety five, one hundred kilos, yeah, Paul. Paul's if if, if ninety five kilo, well. Paul may be favorites. Yeah. If it is hundred five kilo. Be a little tougher for him because whenever Krasi is going down 95, he says that he, with right arm he is losing some performance. I think because he's doing power match with left arm, he says he doesn't lose so much because he is more like technical. Correct? Do I remember correct? Yes, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so let's see what will happen there. And then put Berize versus Oleg Zok. 85 kilo world title match. Tudberize is the world champion. WAF world champion. Only 19 yeah. years old. He, he dominated everyone. Probably John, doesn't, John, John probably doesn't know him. And yeah, Ole, Oleg Zog won 80 kilo. Tudberize won 85 kilo. And any idea? Any opinion? Prediction? Depends on how much... Oleg's progressed. I mean, since his accident, which is how many years now? I mean, I, I don't know. He's seemingly getting better and stronger, right? But Five years, yeah. I, I mean, it just depends on how much he's healed up and progressed. Or so you are ever... saying that if, if, if Zog is in good shape, nobody if, can if catch him. Yeah, if he's anywhere near what he used to be, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for anybody to beat him. But I will tell you something, John. Like 2015 in the Waffles, I flash pin Mazgan Shamiev. I won the wars. Mazgan took fourth after me. Only 40 days later, Mazgan flash pin Oleg Zog at Zolo okay. And in 2018, I think Moldova event, um, Oleg Zog beat Pushkar. But right. some before that one, or no, no, a few weeks, no, one month after that one, Lemon Dimitro really gave a very hard time in his category to Zog. You remember at the WAF, you watched the Krasimir? He took even, yes. or, or, or they were like this, like this, and then Oleg couldn't go, his wrist was going, you know. Yes. So what I'm, I'm just saying that in his category, like there has been times that, you know, Oleg was challenged, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, it's yeah, but, hard, uh... it's hard to get a hold of him. I mean, if you've got the technique and the style to, to, to commit to hooking him or getting hold of his arm he's i think he's you know definitely beatable but you know ripping him hand to hand that monster you know palm that he has it's very awkward to apply your your best your best pressure mm -hmm. and you watch this guy right to uh classy in my eyes joke is the huge favorite i would be okay. very surprised if this young guy he's super strong he's super strong but in the straps, uh, I don't see him controlling Jok's hand. Okay, okay. Especially if you are going outside, it's even harder, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I understand. But Let's you see. never know. You never know. And another uh, one. I can see something that uh, when I watched uh, King of the Table, just the last one, I was ready to bet my house that uh, once we will destroy... The, the guy from Russia, Valera. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, but the guy I was, was really strong. I was 100% sure that once you beat him very easy. Yeah. But it was... Surprising. This guy resisted a lot, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because when, when I saw the training videos of Valera versus Triplenkov yeah. and other guys, I was yeah. thinking, this guy is, is huge, but he doesn't even know how to pull. And when he appeared there, he pulled super professional. I was super surprised to see that. I couldn't believe my eyes what I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah. John John has to go uh, and catch a flight. So let's go last six matches or seven matches. Prokopchuk versus Mindagas, John. Who? 
you know Daniel Prokopchuk from oh, yeah, Moldova yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 against, against Mindaugas Tarasaitis, you know. Oh, yeah, the, the best arm wrestler in the world. Yeah, yeah. He is really yeah. good arm wrestler. Really, I will really never, good. I'll never vote against Daniel. I mean, Daniel's just I, I mean, I think he should be pulling super heavyweights. <laughs> I, I think like this. If, if Daniel beat uh, Mindagas four times, Mindagas beat him two times. You know, they both have wins against each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. but you are saying that Daniel is the favorite. I think so, right? I mean, I just because I, I well, I only have experience with pulling with Daniel, and um, yeah, I, I mean, the little bit that I have pulled with him, I can barely beat him, so I can't imagine anybody his own. Way. You know when it was, you know when it was. <laughs> it, it is like I one month so before, good. one month before your return, uh, uh, after five years break, yeah, in yeah. Romania. Yeah, I pulled with him yeah. quite a bit. In Romania, I was like, Whoa. yeah, yeah, but you were still like five years away from Armas yeah, when you trained with him. Yeah. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Krasi? in my eyes, uh, Daniel is the favorite, but I can see it going either way, either way, okay, okay. And Samusha versus Vladimir Mayro. This is only I'm gonna ask you, Krasi, because you probably wouldn't know Vladimir Mayro. No, I, I don't know how good Vladimir is right now, five years. Ago, he was super solid in hook. If I, I heard that he recently beat Sandris at the Swiss Open in the overalls, this is what they say. If he's that guy, then Mayorov is the favorite in my eyes. Are you or serious? Least... Wow. So yeah. if he is as good as his 2018 Moldova shape, then he has a good chance of beating. Yes, yes. Wow. Or, See, people... or it will be very, very close. close. Very close. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think possibly. This will be one of the toughest match of Samushia in this category. But if he's not that good, Samushia will destroy him. Hmm. I don't know. He looked good, you know, recently. Okay. Rino Masic versus Ivan Matushenko. Oh, see, Krasimir is the perfect person to talk uh, about. I can, I can say this. If Rino tries to pro or press... Yeah against Ivan, he will lose. If he tries to stop him here on his biceps, yeah, then, then he may win the match. Okay, so he needs to, instead of his classic style, he needs to catch Ivan and yes. then stop him on his bicep. Not, yes. not tricep, not top row. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do, do you know Rino Masic, John? But I think Matyashenko is probably, in my eyes, from what I've seen in the last couple of times, in line to pull Devin. I mean, I just, I don't see, I mean, he's just mowing through people pretty effortlessly. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's Reno is the current 242 world champion. He, oh, he is. Yeah. He's what? He's current world champion of WAF. And he beat, he beat Sandris. And okay. maybe, does he have any win against you, Krasimir? Once, maybe in the. On the left, world? yes. Yes. On the left arm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 he, and he's and he's nineteen years old. He's oh, nineteen sure. years old. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. yeah. So you never know what what that. Yeah. What? Okay. The the next match match is John Berzing versus Krasimir. I'm not gonna ask this one oh, yes. because because these guys are gonna ignore me. No need to spend time. Okay. Now last three matches, good ones, very very. All of them are good, but these ones. Alijan Murado versus Prudnik, left arm. You know Alijan, right, John? Yes, yes, yes. yes. He's the one that beat... Uh... Cody, Cody Merritt and Petrenko. And then he is last two years super weight champion, even though he's like a 220. Kazakhstan? Is he from Kazakhstan? Kazakhstan, yeah, yeah. Alijan, yeah. And each other. Yeah, seems like, I mean, as, uh, as impressive I, as... Is Prudnik's match was against uh, David? Darikian, Darikian, yeah. Uh, but hard to say. Yeah, no, it's I, 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 I don't War, know. war, war. I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious about what <laughs> yeah, so it thinks. Go, but yeah, it should, should go inside, What do you right? think? How, yeah. Where is your money going, John? Uh, my money's staying in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I yeah. I would not know know who to bet on against in that. Yeah. No. And you, Krasimir? Krasimir. In my eyes, 
Alejan is slightly favorite, but slightly, slightly. Probably it is because he's better arm, and like he is depending on more more of his left. While Prudnik is very good with left, but he is mainly the right arm guy. I think yeah. Alijan is more experienced with left compared to Prudnik. The, the guy is just John. He's just like two twenty. I think he was only like two or nine or something in twenty twenty two wars. He just competed super weight buff. He beat all the super weight guys. And this year he did the same thing again. He, he in his home home country, you know, like Waf, he won the supers, and then you saw he beat Cody Merritt, and then you saw he beat um, uh, Petrenko, yeah, and yeah, and then you cannot underestimate Prudnik when he beat Darikian, you know, yeah. No, no Darikian, he we don't have very much information on David because he doesn't he hasn't pulled a whole hell of a lot, right? But. Um, yeah, looked really impressive against Arakle. So if his left is as good as his right, you remember he 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 was three three zero against Morozo in a super match. Morozo came back and beat him four yeah. three. Yeah, actually so, in that in that match, David was way better, way stronger than Morozov. Yeah, Morozov, Morozov was cheating him so much on the grip. I I don't like the way he beat him. Okay. Another conversation that we don't have time, but we can talk <laughs> about it. So, what do you think about this match? You say it's like the Ali Jani's favorite, and anything else you want to add about this match? Mm, no, I no? I can see like I can expect anything from this match. Yeah, yeah. And John, Dadikan versus Tatashins. Dadikan, David's got to pull him like Prudnik pulls him. I, uh, he has to flash pin him. I think I think he has the ability possibly to because his, his flexor, his cup is is world class good. Um, if he does exactly everything right and he's got to flash pin Todd. If Todd stops the match um, especially if they're in the straps then I, I think Todd will win. Um, if, if the first, first match goes to Todd's side of the table which is not impossible um then todd todd easy uh but i think david has his he's got formidable chances um and he's quick enough and he knows where to pull so uh but he's not gonna outlast todd if it goes if it becomes a war if it stops anywhere uh, yeah i i don't know who can outlast todd i, I have no idea in an equal match i don't know maybe maybe devon in, in, if they are in the same category, if they are in the same year, then of course I, they, it's not even a match. Yeah. Do you think that two thirty one Devon, two thirty one Todd? Do you think that Todd can do something? I think it needs to be set up for sure. I mean, the way he took Devon down to the pad in in many eyes uh, was a pin at, at the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, WAL, WAL, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I think it's, yeah, but but yeah. is Devon the same Devon? You know. Yeah, but either is Todd. <laughs> okay, so Todd is you think now is at his strongest? I think he's. Uh, well, time will tell, but I think Hutchins is. Uh, you know, he she should be pulling the very very best, Devin included. I mean, he'll he'll prove himself. I think in the, in the near future that he he can pull with the the top top. You guys. mean you mean talking about the heavier guys or in his category? Yeah, no, I I, I would love to see Hutchins against Saplinkov. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and, and I remember Trump. I remember John saying this ten years ago that he would love to see Hutchins versus Tsiplenkov, and back then the people were laughing, but yeah. I was totally agree, and I'm agree right now also. Yeah, listen, ten years ago it was something to laugh about. <laughs> yeah, come well, on. <laughs> Uh, ten, ten years ago, Denis Tsiplenko would just. Yeah, I mean, well, Todd wasn't that much weaker than he is, but he's he's learned how to secure and position his hand way better in the strap than than he did ten years ago. Yeah, he would pull from really weird positions. He'd let his hand. You're talking up. about Dennis, right? You're talking about ten years ago, Dennis. Well, ten years yeah. ago, Dennis is. I mean that that Dennis, like you remember the match he had with Arsene Lilia? He Arsene he didn't. He was just like, you know. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, but the third match with the straps, 
was not that uh, convincingly the third match. The first two matches, yes, he just stonewalled him. But the third match, maybe he maybe he, he, maybe he, he didn't hit hard him as hit him as hard as I asked Arsen. Arsen said that all three matches was three seconds. He said next day he felt like whole his body like a bus hit him. You know, he, this is yeah, what Arsen told I me. Know, you know, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. But I'm not sure how the match would go if all the three rounds were in the straps. I, I, I kind of think that Dennis had mercy on him, you know, after the, the two rounds, you know, I think. Yeah. Uh, mm. I mean, this is what Arsen says. Arsen says that that Dennis, that he's the, the, the strongest ever except Lewan. This is what, what, what Arsen told me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So what, if we come back to the subject, Dadikian versus Tats. Uh, I, I totally agree with John. If the Dikan is able to flash pin him, mm. then he may win the match. But if the match stops somewhere, then it's all the way Todd. Yeah. And and what is the possibility that you know he can do that flash pin in your opinion? Actually he has the chance to do this. I don't know. With or without strap? Both. 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 Okay. I mean, for me, without the strap, is more possible to control Todd. Did, did Todd, Todd go to strap with? He couldn't go. He couldn't manage to go strap with uh, Prudnik, right? They were in the straps. They were in the straps. You sure? Yes. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure. Pr Prudnik versus Hutchings? Yes. I was surprised how easily Prudnik top rolled Hutchings with the straps. Hmm. It takes a pretty confident commitment to try to contain Hutchins now without, you know, without the strap. You, you could easily get your hand opened up. Of course, Todd doesn't have the hand pressure to 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 make it up, you know, where he's going to control his opponent. So it's it's going to turn into a slip. But um, yeah, it doesn't feel doesn't feel very good to try to to control. Todd when he's loading back and knuckles high like he's doing lately. And Gil, I want to ask you, you said that... Round one, it was not strep. Round two wasn't strep. Oh, round three strep. The last round. Yes. But still, he beats him so easy in the strep. I don't know how he can do that. Mm. Me too. Me too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What were you saying, Krasim? Sorry about it. I was taking this video. You said that Denis Triplenkov 10 years ago, in your eyes, is way stronger than this Denis that put Devon right now? Yeah, because because the guy was had this side pressure, you know, he had it. Right now, I, he's only, only going this way with the downside, Ulna side of his hand. He doesn't do, like, he doesn't have any side pressure. He cannot really even... I, I, dis I disagree on that. I disagree on that. Yeah, I mean, you, you disagree that you disagree that you know the Dennis that has side pressure this this way now is the same guy. The guy that I see over pronated and then don't even have any any movement direct to the pad, you know, before he was holding and you know listen back then yeah. when he was pulling on Andre Pushka, he mm -hmm. was never able to hook Andre Pushka. Listen, he was never able to is different thing. Then he he didn't have power. Right now, even with the weakest guy, you look at his training videos. He's pronating. He doesn't have just because he couldn't do that to push guard. It doesn't mean that he didn't have. I can show you three hundred matches that he could just do this to many many strong guys. Push guard was like an extreme example, you know. But yeah, you, name was... the, you name the year. He's he's had he's struggled with Michael Todd. He struggled with. Uh, Dave who, who, did he, who didn't Not struggle with Michael Todd? You know, who didn't struggle? He, he wasn't like so dumb. I can I can name a lot of points ten years ago where he was like, yeah, that could have went either way. Or even even when you pull when he pulled Michael, it was like many years of break. It was his return match, you know, just like no, no, 2013, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 2016 or 17 or something. No, you know, he was no, no. What was ten years ago, Ingen? <laughs> what, what, what? No, 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 no. I talk about 2013, you know, 2013 when I talked about Arsene. So there Gilles. can't be like this little small window where he was like, 
super incredible yeah like, yeah yeah i'm talking about that time you know this is exactly what arsen pointed as well you know yeah yeah but right now even in his training he is not doing that like i i remember people doing two hands he, he had this this side pressure i see that now even if he top roll someone he's still struggling you know like he only yes, attacking back then when you say that he was the best he had training with ivan matushenko on the left and they were having war mm. I, I it was in 2013 yes it was 2012 I, 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 listen, or 13 i will tell you something maybe i'm sure you know this better than i do matushenko is the same guy all year around denis is a different guy off time and on time i, I can yeah. tell you I privately explain everything the difference but I, i'm sure that you would you know this better you know? yeah yeah but <laughs> still i don't think that Denis was way better back then. I'm because there were a few guys that were giving interviews in Russian mm -hmm. before his match with Devon, and all of them said that he's about the same Denis, if not the same, very close to what he was. Listen, the guy, one Denis is 140 kilo, the other Denis is 130 kilo, one with the 60 centim bicep, the other one I measured 50 centim. 10 something even on the bicep size difference. I'm not I saying that it's all about, about the bicep, but I'm sure that he is not the same strong guy, you know. I mean, I have no doubt it's the same guy. You know? so I mean, I mean, that, that doesn't completely equate to being a better arm wrestler. I mean, we all know that. Yeah, but, but Dennis has never been so great because he was just so super technical, including today, you know. He is holding from here and trying to pronate, you know. He doesn't even use the riser or it really like you don't hold someone from his wrist and try to go outside you know you you do a little bit higher you know so he still has the, the grip of the, the low grip and side pressure the same grip but he's doing outside with the low grip you know i mean I, I listen this this is the wrist joint that you try to take if you apply the pressure here i mean it will be less effective you need to apply your pressure as far as possible to the somebody's hand so that's you need to have a little bit higher grip so you go higher if you hold like this then with your thumb you're applying pressure to the middle of the uh middle of it's the not, it's not always the case again it's not what? always the case it's, it's listen, sometimes you, you and i we can talk about hook and i will listen to you forever if we are talking about pronation please yeah but the thing please. is that some, sometimes yeah there are guys that who are pulling like this they they grab very low and they depend no 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 but they they, they have the, they have yeah. the tall forearm they do this but they do low hand top roll like like vitali but that that is that is most of the time against the uh hook pullers you know most of the times you know you don't you don't really if the both top roll except laletin you don't see many guys that is just really like dropping their hand like this unless yes. they are ready. especially if you are pulling against devon which is almost like 10, 10 centimeter taller than uh, Dennis, you know, I mean, you don't want to hold him low. And you saw that with low grip, they will have the cup in you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... Yes, 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 yes. Want... I agree, I agree, I agree. Honestly, or you just want to finish? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, you're right, you're right about this. The thing is that uh, it depends if your opponent is going to hook you or to top row you. Yeah, yeah. Because if my opponent is going hook, I also do a little bit to his little finger. I, I drop it and then put that because the guy can just go around my hand. So I keep it a little bit far. But if the guy is top rolling, I try not to drop this. I, I actually rise up, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so Morozov versus Kurdecha. I no, think it's not much. Yeah, we haven't seen Alex for two years. So, I mean, who knows where Alex is at, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't know. Even if he's in his best form, that's that, that's a tough match for him, right? His left arm, it is said that better than his right. And he is now over 360 pounds, 160 kilo. And, and he is, you know, no fat at all. He's just like... You know, and he is almost as tall as uh, Laletti. And we will see. We will see. Morozo. I am not sure if Morozo can go outside with him, but I would like to hear 
what what Krasi is saying. Krasi looks like he has something to say. I, I'm I'm sure that if Morozov will try to hook him, he will hook him and beat him very easy. Hook him, but top roll is hard, if, right? If if he tried to top roll him, he may lose the match. Yeah. Do you remember when he tried to top roll Tobias? He lost his wrist. And then he hold him low and then did a little bit supinated grip and hook him and uh, beat him, yeah. If Morozov tries the first round to top row and loses mm -hmm. the wrist and continue to pull with that wrist, yeah. Yeah. then he may lose the match. But if he yeah. tries to hook him right after the goal, I'm sure he would win. Okay. okay. Both of these guys have been in hiding for over at least a year, two years. I mean, who knows what kind of shape they're going to come in. Yeah. The last time Morozo pulled left arm, it was like last June. He pulled against Corey West. Okay. And he, he had very dominant performance against Corey West. Yeah, left arm. Impressive. And But he was getting ready for Lewan with right arm, uh, super match. And so he was in incredible shape. So he was getting ready for his right. But of course, when he trained his left, yeah. So we will see the winner of this match will face Vitaly Laletin. Yep, yep. And then before we finish the last one, Lewan versus Devon. I want to ask John and then I want to go with. Uh, but one second before that, Krasi, Devon said that you are incredible at chess game. Is that true? I, I used to play a lot. About I was playing uh, five years every day, about two, three hours a day. So, I mean, here in our club in the town. So uh, I know I know a lot of theory in the chess. I if you know. don't if you don't know theory, you, you like it's pulling on the table without technique, like pushing like this. Mm. I asked Devon. Devon said that like Devon is good about it, but he said that in the community, he said that you are the best that he knows. You know, he said that he cannot do anything against you. Yes, because he doesn't know theory. Okay. And one more thing I will ask. Do you know how to play the, the, the Street Fighter type of games? I have played when I was a kid. Yeah, because we need someone to play against them. When every time he comes here, he beats everyone. And he gets up during the bank. And he's like, hey, anyone, anyone. And then... Bring a six-year-old in a ringer that's a little, little, little kid that just crushes him. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we need someone. Next time when I do the VIP, VIP... Uh, offer, I will just say that like you need to know highest level of the Street Fighter you know, game. You know, <laughs> yeah. Okay, John. Does Devon have chance against Levon this time? Absolutely. I mean, Levon is hurt a little bit. Um, we don't know if he's fully recovered or can ever be fully recovered. And Devon has obviously proven that he's improved a lot. Um I think I think he believes that he can beat him, and that's that, that's all you need. I think he's, yeah. I think I mean that it's, it's a possibility that that match could have went completely different the first time they met. So, um, uh, yes, I think he's got a definitely a, 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 a strong chance, and he's definitely proven himself to be in line. Right? Who's better? Mm -hmm. Who's better mm -hmm. to go against? I asked I asked Lewan, I said, did, do you think that Devon improved? He said he doesn't think so, like maybe little. <laughs> this is what he said, because he said that before his match, he said, and you look at his performance against Michael Todd in a super match in Dubai. He said he was already, you know, very, very good. And and he said, you know, and he was already very good. He doesn't think that he improved a lot. But is that your opinion as well? My my personal experience, um, he is mm -hmm. definitely Improved a lot from what I pulled him a year and a half, two years ago to just recently, seven, eight months ago. Um, night and day. I mean, I didn't even have to pull him. Just, just, just gripping up onto his hand. I, you can, you can tell right away. Like what the? I mean, it's just he's a completely different person. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And and you, Krasi? I think that he has chance. I think that he has chance. He needs to stop him, right? Somehow stop him. And what does he need, Krasi? What does he need to stop him? A little bit more back pressure. Back more back pressure. Yeah. I mean, Levan's got the probably the strongest cupping in the, the game, right? 
hear that crushing yeah. ability to do yeah. this. He can't if somebody yeah. Devin can stop that from happening. Devin's gonna Devin's gonna before the before his injury, he was able to curl one hundred kilos for yeah. wrist lift. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Ask him, I would like to talk with you because you like to analyze the things. The reason, the only reason that Hermes was able to stop Levan was his back pressure. Levan couldn't, like Levan didn't lose his wrist, but he couldn't control uh, Hermes's pronator. So yes. he couldn't, he, he went this way, he took the hand and wrist, but he couldn't really control the arm, you know. That is why Hermes started with the back pressure, back pressure, lost his wrist. And after he stopped, and then he, he did the transition to here. If you realize that round three, when he stopped Levan, and he was almost winning, and Levan fouled. And then second start, Hermes wanted to go directly there. He got flash pin because this time Levan was able to use his cupping because he didn't start with the back pressure. So you need to kind of unable... Levan's cupping to stop him, you know, more back pressure. Yeah. Most, most dangerous pullers for those hand dominant guys, those those yeah. cupping guys are the Travis high knuckles posting uh, pullers. Arson. Yeah. Um, but the thing is that uh, that huge back pressure from Hermes didn't take Levan's hand, but he didn't take, but uh, he couldn't control the pronator either. He, he couldn't no. bend his wrist. He, he controlled everything here. Just Levan's side pressure. His side pressure was not enough to finish the match. This is my opinion. I, I think that his wrist isn't handled. But look at look at the match. He didn't lose the wrist, but he didn't have popping like this. His he wrist was like flat, flat. He wasn't able to turn him completely up, right? right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, he couldn't. He couldn't. He had the pronator. Still, he had the pronator. He couldn't. Because I saw he hit sideways and his wrist was stopped. So And then but, he went out again. But, but Engin, Levan yeah. was he has had the control here. He took Hermes' wrist. But, but, but taking taking the wrist is not about the the the, the having the pressure. Like yeah. taking the hand is about your own pronator and back pressure. But controlling Hermes' pronator is something different. It's not it has nothing to do with the, your pronation. This is this is about the wrist. He couldn't like if he would do this. Listen, like round three, watch it. He started the second start with direct flop. Instead of the back pressure, as Le Le Levan beat him. That's, that's true. But yeah. in my eyes, why the problem why Levan couldn't finish that match was lacking of side pressure, not lacking wrist. I think I think the guy has incredible pressure, but he's listen. This is very very no, hard to be, no. beat someone without like controlling the pronator with side pressure. Either you need to go that way, like you need to control here that that, that lack here. I, you know, I, I disagree. I disagree. So let me Levan, ask you this. Do you think Dennis has a chance against Levan? Dennis? With, with his um, ability? To do I mean, the, not, the, that, not the Dennis that we saw in Istanbul. Pulling, pulling against Devin. No, yeah. not, not, not that one. Not that one, but a little bit more stronger, a little bit more like cup, you know, like at least he wouldn't lose his wrist so much. Uh, but I, I saw something. De I, think that, I think that he has chance. I think that Dennis has chance. I think Dennis might have a better chance than even Devin, and Devin dominated Dennis, but that's just because of the the style. Yeah, his. I agree. I agree on that. Not, I I don't agree. Not the one in Istanbul. One year later, improved using more. Ermes, you're using Hermes as a gauge. I think Dennis's style is similar to Hermes with that back pressure and that he's got enough side pressure that it might. Yeah, yeah, but just but just remember one thing that that uh, Hermes, like. Couldn't do anything if he didn't have this. I, I'm not sure if, 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 like, like, if Dennis is like this, I don't think he's gonna put his shoulder and then do this. Like, like, I, I'm, I don't see him doing that. Like, Her Hermes but, does. But listen, Dennis has better pronation than Hermes. Hermes has very strong back pressure and wrist, but his pronation is not that solid as Dennis. Mm. Some interesting yeah, that, 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 that is a something that, you know, because, like, because like in my opinion, Devon had a harder time against Dennis than he had against Hermes. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah, his arm is for sure, but but does he have the pressure to do that? Also, the, the thing is that the, 
he has this, he has the pronation. And when he has the pronation, he may go like this. Yeah, but when once once he lost his wrist, his pronation didn't really help him, you know. Well, once Devon went this way and took everything. But, I kind but, of think that I kind of think but, that Levan is gonna just take his wrist like easy. Like, yeah. Okay, he will take his wrist easy. But Levan um, doesn't have this, doesn't have this. Devon I mean, has I, it. Devon has I, it. I, I think that the Levan's arm is much stronger than uh, Devon's and his his pressure to do here is I think I think, I think it's stronger. It's not about the arm. It's about the chest. It's about this move. It's about this. yeah. But you know, whenever you're stretching down, you you pull in something with your arm as well. You know, but yeah. But I, I just don't see Dennis having this to finish, um, Levan, uh, Levan. But I don't know. We will see. All these matches, we will see. And uh, like Hermes and Devon, uh, Hermes and Dennis may pull this spring. That who's many people think that it's a mismatch. Hermes is gonna destroy Dennis and things like that. But do you guys think that way? No, I don't know. It'll be a good match. Good match, yeah. I believe so. I believe so. If, if Dennis is like five, ten percent better, everything can be changed. Anyway, so guys, John has time, doesn't have time, he needs to go to the airport. T thank you very much. And I kept you extra 24 minutes. Very sorry. <laughs> Machine thank you very done. much. And thank you, Krusty. You and I, we should sit down and talk like hours and hours and hours and hours, Krusty. <laughs> <laughs> John is ti tired of armors. John, John is tired. Okay. Take care. Like John. See you soon. Take care. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. Merry yeah. Christmas. Take care and thank you guys for watching. Krusty, don't forget, huh? We're going to sit down and talk about you, I, and Devon. Hmm. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna, we're, huh? uh, let me tell you something that um, tell me, tell me, yeah, uh, go ahead about Levan, why he couldn't finish the match. Then, what I'm explaining that he lacked this power, and you may be offended, but I believe you has the same problem, you don't have mm -hmm. this, Baba. That is not because of that, that is mm, it is, it is because over pronation. You listen, if if whenever I do this, my problem is not this. My problem is looking that way. It is because my pronator, like the radius side pressure, is so much stronger than the downside of my hand. You know, your downside of hand and this bottom two finger is this downside of here, pressure here, and this wrist tendon is all about controlling the opponent's arm. And here is all about the hand. So because of my injury here, I cannot really apply pressure with the like this side, this this inner side, I cannot. So I will tell you, no, no, I know myself. Like whenever I train supination and pronation, it is you will not believe, but three times stronger this this, this top side. So whenever I do the full pressure, this here is not catching up with here. Like three times more power is coming. Whenever I give all my power, it is over pronating and then missing the arm here. What I need to do, I need to control here and beat the guy. Once you, you know, only the hand is not enough. Once I have here, the, everything is changing. Like, like I'm becoming like a double strong. Trust me. I agree, but it's because not of the arm. It's because of the chest. It's like this power, this strength, not the arm power. My friend, as long as you don't control the opponent's arm, you only pronate like this. You you missing the arm. The guy like the same. Like like Ongar Wave did it. John did it. Everyone did it, but they didn't control Todd's arm. They went here. They had the hand and wrist. You cannot go because you don't stop. You don't really lock, you know, here. You need to turn here, either with the wrist or either with the downside of your pressure hand no, no. here. You need to apply we're, pressure. We're to talking about different things. I'm talking yeah, about but, Levan, but that, Levan, that, 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 yeah. Levan and Hermes. And you against uh, John, for example. Yeah. I believe the cases are similar. You both had the hand control, but this is... You're talking about like, my match with John, the second round? For example, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, when I pull Sasha, it's the same. He's going like this. He takes my hand. Sasha is super strong here, but he's strong here. He doesn't have here. 
here. He has I, 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 I don't believe that. I believe that. Listen, you say you're breathing like this. Just imagine that, you know, him having a cup over your brain and you are like this. You are not going to beat him like this. That is all about... I beat him like this. Oh. I beat him like that. I mean, I mean, listen, listen. If, if you are like this, I mean, this is very hard, you know, if you lose the wrist and the pronator. This is very hard. But if you have this you pronator, I know that you, you use your pronator. Yes. You, yeah. I mean, listen, listen, here. Look at it. Where is my tricep working now? To win inside. Where is my tricep working now? To do losing side. If I want to, if my palm is turned up, if I want to use my tricep, I need to make myself losing. Here, winning. Here. I agree. I agree on okay. that. I, yeah. I just say that Levan needed more side pressure to win the match, not to risk. Listen, to apply the side pressure, listen, there are some type of people, like for example, Tatashi. I, I, got, I got hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's good. It's good. Like, like Todd Hutchings. Todd Hutchings' style of side pressure, he doesn't need wrist. But people like Lewan, people like me, we are so much dependent on the hand control. And it's people because like you guys, cannot, because you guys don't control. have this. It's because you guys don't have this. That's no, why. No, it is, it, is, it is because of if we have here, we win. If you cannot turn here, you lose. You need. It's all about controlling the pronator. But like there are some people like do you remember Bill Things? You don't you don't know him, right? No. From the end, like he had like this, he, he could just push like this, you know, side pressure. Me, I cannot do that. I need to have wrist. Levan is the same. Levan cannot pull this way. Levan yes, needs to I have agree. Wrist. I agree on that. Yeah. But in my eyes, it's you just need a little bit more of this, not more of this. If you add more on this, it will make the same business. Not, not only but this, can... but not only this, but also listen. Um, you see here this side of the yes. hand. Whenever I press it, if it is not strong enough, and if it is going like this, you understand? Your arm is yes. over pronating because this doesn't catch up with with the pronation. If if here is hundred twenty kilo, if it is forty kilo, whenever I give all my power, I'm dominating the hand, even if I don't want. But here is not. Coming together, so I yes. need to press with the downside here to the side. Yes, yes, yeah. you need this. You need your side pressure. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But, but, but listen, not only the chest. Your forearm needs to. If your forearm is not staying here, because listen, I think you cannot imagine this because your supinator is incredibly powerful. That if you ever lack, you are lacking from the chest. But for me, I mean, I cannot really do this pressure if my forearm, the supination side is injured and I cannot apply if it is going like I, I go it goes like this but once I am healthy if I control here like I remember whenever I was pulling with uh, Mindagas even I beat him super much my arm was going like this but I, I had this like a training with him but at that time my spinator side this side the ulna side was very strong so I, I put the pressure here whenever I press yes. it was it, exactly. it was not over. back then you had better side pressure no, 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 no. It's the same side pressure. The forearm is not... Listen, <laughs> even you have chest, the applier, all the pressure is not chest. The applier on the arm, your forearm, your forearm, like, listen, if I have super chest power, but not strong pronator, I will hit, my arm will be... Because pronator is turning. So what I just said... No, is forearm, no. If you have super strong chest, you will go like this. That's no, if, 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 the, if the guy turns your pronator like this, like look at Pat Hutchings has the same pressure all the time. Whenever he put Prudnik, Prudnik control his pronator, he couldn't do anything. Prudnik did like this. But whenever people cannot control his pronator and they over pronate, like Irakli did, like John did, like Ongar Bev did, they couldn't control his pronator and he was able to boom, boom, boom. But once you turn him here, he goes. His arm stays there. Anyways, you have your yeah. own opinion. I am mine, but it's good. I respect you so much. Okay, same here. Yeah, thank you. And see you in a few weeks. I love, I love chatting with you because that, that is always good. You know, even you don't agree each other, you still learn something. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And and is it the still same in Bulgaria when you say yes, you do this, and when you say no, you do this? Actually, I, I, I don't use this in Bulgaria. I you use don't? yes and no. 
Yeah, but in the past, people told me that, you know, when you say like, this means no in Bulgaria. We we use this no and this one. Is yes. <laughs> oh, this is yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. okay. That's when it's no and yes. <laughs> Yeah, there is there is a there is a super chat that I, I don't want to be disrespectful and before I close and read that. Um sorry. Sean, yeah, you know Sean, right? Close friend of Matt Mask, Sean Crowther. I, I think so, yes. I think yeah. so. Hello, Sean, thank you. He says you you two need to debate technique more often. This is awesome to watch. You guys are teaching people so much right now. Yeah, that 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 is how it is. You know, like you you talk and then you discuss. Who cares? You know, like I mean, it is not about ego satisfaction or something. We enjoy. I, I enjoy at least to uh, discuss with you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Krasimir. You are a legend. You are a legend, and I see that you are doing very well, very well lately. And I hope you will be going more up. I cannot say anything about John Match. <laughs> I'm, I'm the organizer, and I don't even support my own self against John. Um, but it's good that you catch the round too about John. John also told me that he couldn't go, uh, but I, I didn't have. But listen, it's not only side pressure; it's also wrist as well. Like I was barely <laughs> holding him, barely, barely holding him. If if I would go more, I would lose the wrist. You know, I was like barely staying there. Yeah, but yeah. listen now. I agree on that. Yeah. But your wrist was stronger than his. And in your in your mind you think oh I need I needed a little bit more wrist, a little bit more wrist. But in my mind when I watch the match from the side mm -hmm. I am thinking and Gin was stronger here. He just needed a little bit more here. To yeah, yeah, more, more there, but do you know what happens? Just I will tell you. I hold here and do more this, I would be like this. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. I know how but, my wrist but, felt. But, I couldn't but, even move. That's all I did. I hit with the roll. And, you know, people but, think that John was the, going with me. And John told me that he had a very hard time. He thought that whenever I hit him the roll, he thought that I was going to flash him, you know. Um, but that, that pressure that you say is about the chest, trust me, uh, Krasi, do you know what this is about? It's about the elbow joint. It's not solid anymore. Like, it really hurts. Like, I cannot do pressure that even my 15 years old junior student is doing the pressure i don't know what's the case but this yeah. is what i see that you're lacking and levan was lacking in my eyes too not the wrist he had the the better wrist against termas just he needed a little bit more side pressure to win the match yeah but he him, had... him him having better wrist than uh Hermes is not the case him controlling is not wrist Risk, risk versus rest because he already took the risk. Yes, what yes. What stopping him is was yeah. this pronator and arm strain back here. Yes, but yeah. to to overcome that pronator, you may overcome that pronator with extra side pressure as well. So, yeah, some people some people can apply the pressure if they don't have the cup, but some people are like me, really right. depending on the, the cup. Like Todd Hutchins. He doesn't yeah. care so much about that, but he yeah, just but overcome with this. I, I understand, but but he's he he, he can pull without the wrist, you know. For example, not, not for example, knows. on Garbaev, he mm -hmm. also has very strong this side pressure. He doesn't mm -hmm. care so much about the cup. He just used his pronator and this side pressure. Yeah, but, but do you do you realize that he, you said you have very good he has, but because he couldn't control Todd's pronator, he hit. He stopped somewhere. He couldn't go. But if he could have this, like Prudnik had it, he would go. But the same, the same thing I can say. If he had a little bit more here, he would be able to finish the match. It, it didn't look like a little bit because if it was a little bit, as soon as he took Todd here, Todd was like, boom, again here. Like he couldn't even stay there. Like mm. he would only like a one surge. He come there. He hey, loses hey, the wrist. Hey. One hour ago, you said that it was close match and it was a war, and now you say no, 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 no. When I said close match, just remember, I said here he was holding him. It was a war. I said he could hold him here more, but I said whenever he went tried to win, it didn't seem like you know he had chance to win. I never said that Ongarwe was close to win, but the match was a war. But 
pod had the control. Like pod, like Ongarbe was struggling to not to lose the match, but it was close because pod couldn't also beat him. But I didn't yes. see, I didn't see pod is in any danger, like almost losing or something. Yes, but if Ongarbe had a little bit more extra side pressure. Then would Listen, it would if it was about the side pressure, I, I will disprove you that. If it was about the side <laughs> pressure, whenever he had the wrist, whenever he had the wrist, from here to here, he hit so good, as you said. But once he go and then he lost his wrist, he was stopped. Just look at the match again. Once he hits, he has cup here. Once he hits, he's losing his cup, you know, it's because no control over thoughts for neither. Just watch the match again. Cup here, do, do, whenever he hits, he loses the cup, you know. Do you know why we we see the things differently? Because you are used to control here, to control here, and if yeah. you don't have this control, most of the times you lose. And me, I'm used to control the match here, and yeah. I know from experience that even if I lose here, if I control here, I don't care about this. I can finish it this way. It depends who the opponent is. Who, it yes. depends. Like you talking. Like, I would like to see you and Tata Hashim like this. I would love to see. It may yeah. happen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Again. See you. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Okay. But one last thing. You were talking about 90 kilo engine and John was near 240, 110 kilo. So you are asking too much. It's not regular, guy. <laughs> okay. Take care. Take care.